Hello YouTube, this is Adam with Atomic Bushcraft and today we're doing the first installment of Wish Junker Treasure and the item we're doing is an alcohol lamp I ordered this from Wish uh, it was actually a free gift listed on there but shipping was four dollars if you get it without it being free it's two dollars with two dollar shipping so is it free? but still I wanted to check this out because I saw it at first I actually thought it was it said alcohol stove and I wanted to make a rocket stove to compare how they went. But then after I ordered it, I saw it was actually a lamp, but thought that could still be interesting. Uh, so I got it, I looked at it. It doesn't come with any kind of wick. First off, it's aluminum, which is actually fairly thick. It feels like it's built fairly sturdy. I mean, it's aluminum, so. And then it has two holes, one for a little vent, and then one for the actual wick to come through. And inside that, it holds 10 milliliters. And it's supposed to run on alcohol. It suggests denatured alcohol, but it can go anyway. Now, I was thinking about it. I don't have alcohol right now, and I was thinking I need a wick of some kind. I was trying to think what can I improvise for a wick. And I thought, well, I actually collect Zippos, and I have several of these Zippo wicks lying around. This is what it looks like here in the package, and this looks like outside the package. I already did a bit of a dry fit to see if it'll fit. And then I got to thinking. What about Zippo fuel? This Ronsol, uh, Ronsonol, uh, lighter fluid? What would that work in there? So that's actually what we're going to do today. We're actually going to test that out and see how that works. Uh, so it's a combination test of the lamp and a test of will this lighter fluid and wick work in a little alcohol lamp. So let's go ahead and just kind of get this started. This feeds right through. Uh, if you don't know much about the Zippo uh, wicks, you can see it's uh, basically just a kind of soft string, I think it's cotton, with uh, wire wrapped in there, copper or brass wire, and that makes it nice and stiff and easy to bend, which makes it fairly good for this, because you can see it curls up perfectly and can sit down in there, and it's a bit easier to adjust the level on it. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this up a bit. I'm not going to fill it all the way up, just put a bit in the bottom and you can see that in there now I'm just going to put this back on I'm going to give the wick a second to really wick that up and absorb it I'm going to see if I can plug the ventilation hole and give it a bit of a shake to help it along I can feel it running through already and I also wanted to see since this is a Zippo wick if a magnesium fire starter uh, striker could actually light it same as a spark so let's go ahead and see if we can get this lit alright so it looks like it's not going to light with a spark oh there it goes and as you see we have a fairly large flame and I just have a little bit of wick showing through. And we have it there. It puts off a good amount of heat. Uh, so it may even be possible to cook with this in an extreme situation. And like I say, it only holds 10 milliliters of fuel, so it's not a whole lot. And if you want a smaller flame, you can always try and tuck the uh, wick in a little bit. And I barely have the wick poking out. And yet you're still getting this much of a flame, so it actually seems to be working fairly well. Uh, I plan on doing more of these... Uh, junk or treasure wish uh, apps. You can see it's fairly sturdy. It comes with a cap, so we can just kind of put that out. Perfect. So it works really good, and it's actually nice and compact. You can easily fit something this small in your pack. And my future videos, I also plan on showing how to make a wooden handle for something like this, so you can actually use it at camp and have it on a stake or hold it in your hand without having to hold this little container that gets a bit warmer. It's already actually warm just from that little bit of testing. And also, uh, I might use this for, like I said, you might be able to cook on it. I'll probably use more just alcohol for it, but I may try this to see how well it cooks. I do have a good, good passion for cooking, so I plan on incorporating that and doing some bushcraft cooking episodes in the future. So if that's something you're interested in, just uh, if you want to, go ahead and subscribe, and you'll be able to, one of the first ones to find out when I post those videos. Uh, if you're interested in these junk to treasures, I have actually another one I'm getting ready to do that should be posted uh, 
before the end of the week. And also, if you're interested in seeing those, again, go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like or a comment if you have any suggestions for future videos. Uh, thanks so much for joining me today, and I'm looking forward to next time.